The Mage's house. I hate so-called clean magic. Where's the fun in that? What do you want with the mages? I take care of many things that the average soul could never comprehend. It is down to me, and me alone, to make sure our crystal gloves exceed all expectations. Thanks to the gloves, each guardian is able to focus the magic that we mages wield intuitively. I want to learn how to use the crystal glove. You? No. Only someone who serves the Guardians may receive this honor. Until you've been sworn in, you will be forbidden to use the Crystal Gloves. You've already joined the Demon Hunters. You should stand by your decision. Where's... Oh, there was something there! Stop! Master Lumbrock's private quarters are not the place for you! Is that so? Yes, and my orders were extremely clear. Nobody is allowed to enter, and I'm sticking to that.
What's for eating? What a wonderful spot for a mass sacrifice. Don't think about it. Well, well. A new face here on Tyrannis. Reason for your stay on Tyrannis? I'm searching for answers. Aren't we all? But we don't prevent anyone from working. When I'm in search of answers, I study the old scriptures. That takes up a lot of time. Not to mention sleep. But let's get on with the procedure. I will document and archive your arrival. Every bit of information could be important. Well, if you say so. Can you tell me something about the shadows? Hmm, let me think. It's not the first time that their kind walks this earth. Something is driving them on. But I can't say what it is. All I know for sure is that if they're not stopped, the existence of mankind hangs in the balance. But thanks to our reactor, we're equipped for the challenge. How were the shadows defeated back then? Your perspicacity astonishes me. This question is indeed worth considering. I don't think that people back then could have created anything like our reactor. Maybe the demon hunters or the natives will be able to provide the answer. But I wouldn't expect any sensible answers from their hocus pocus. Why do you... There has to be an institution of some sort in this time and age that consolidates the knowledge of all mankind. If we lose that knowledge, we lose all chance of a future. Just thinking of how much knowledge was lost during the conflict with the Inquisition makes me shudder. I know nothing about crystal magic. You don't want to steal anything here? Just... I'm not good enough yet. Just... I'd like to sustain... Okay. I, wanna... I don't have much time, so you'll have to make do with the short version. Crystal magic may appear to be another, random form of magic to the uninitiated. Yet it is capable of so much more. It contains a power to rival even that of the Titans. How can a few crystals stop Titans? Have you never heard that faith can move mountains? It's similar with crystals, but more practical. It's possible to channel their magic. The sooner we understand their complex structures, the stronger the magical power we can extract from them. Where do these crystals originate? An interesting, albeit irrelevant, question. Perhaps they were a final gift from the gods, given to protect mankind from their doom. Perhaps they simply lay concealed beneath the rock for eons. In the end, all that matters is we've got them. Sounds to me as if you want to play God. The gods have forsaken us, and we have no need for them anymore. These crystals give us power to restore order. They are the key to man's continued survival, and so we shall use them. Thanks. I think I've heard enough for now. Good. I think this little chit-chat added to your knowledge. Now go back to your chores.
wiry physique, distinctive facial features, interesting. Sorry, not interested. What? No, I didn't mean it like that. Allow me to introduce myself. Ilva, paranormalist and precision engineer. It's in the nature of my profession that I always examine my surroundings very closely. What on earth is a paranormalist? An inquisitive student, most excellent. My area of research is other worlds that are invisible to the human eye. I combine the results of my research with my artisan skills to manufacture various oculars. When you look through one of my oculars, your vision will increase by 500%. So what can your oculars make visible? In layman's terms, they grant you a differentiated look into the astral sphere, depending on the prism you use. The knack here is to catch the particular wave band to give you the required result. In layman's terms, right. Please excuse me, the frequent disputes with my brothers here mean I sometimes find it difficult to use a more polite manner of speech. Don't worry about it. Oculars, no. But the prisms you need for them, yes. Only if you join our covenant. Discuss it with General Magnus. Dispute? I thought you mages stick together. If only you knew. For instance, take this old codger Nurgle. He sits in his cellar all day looking after his plants. But the crystals are the reason we are here on Tyrannus at all. We'll see. What? Oh, are you new here? Well spotted, old man. Don't give me any cheek. Could you assist me, soldier? Or, uh, wait a moment, um, what was I saying? I'm happy to help. Help? Yes, precisely. That was it. How can I help you, young man? I've heard coconut oil is good for your brain. Maybe you should try it before something else goes wrong. Coconut oil? <sighs> Why don't you put some proper clothes on before you talk to me like that? Who is the most powerful mage among you? The Honorable Mage, Zacharias. Right. And where is he? He is with his research subject behind the reactor, on the other side of the Great Canyon in the Northeast. How do I get to meet Zacharias? He's deeply engrossed in his research. He's most interested in the reactor. He needs its magical energy for his research project. As long as the reactor isn't working again, I fear that he's not going to see anyone. I see. You see? Yet, I'm about to make a breakthrough in my small experiment, but I'm still missing something important. Uh, I just keep getting carried away there. What did you say you want? Where is your experiment? The experiment is nowhere, just in my head. It's a... Uh, well, what? No idea. A thought experiment. <laughs> right. Yes. You see, I'm trying to determine the amount of energy that our monolith network needs for the reactor. Reactor? What's that? Oh. Do you want to see the reactor? It's my greatest creation to date. Really? Follow me. I'll show you what we have achieved. This building, and the one on the far side of the canyon, form a circular focal point. We call it a reactor, or a magical ring. The flows of magical energy converge beneath the bridge between the two buildings. Once the reactor starts running, it disrupts the equilibrium of the elements. The Titans don't like that at all, and they will give Tyrannus a wide berth in order to avoid the flow of energy. Fascinating, isn't it? Impressive construction. Indeed. However, we only managed to start up the reactor once, and that was only briefly. 
We quickly realized that we couldn't keep up the flow of energy for long. We simply need more magical power in order to keep the reactor operational. We need to reinforce the network with suitably large monolith stones. Right. Sounds complicated. The lightning monoliths erected on Tyrannus accumulate the island's magical energy. They stand in a most favorable constellation for the energy flux. All we have to do is divert it to the crystals in our reactor. Easy. I see. What are you waiting for? The monolith stones haven't reached their destination yet. I've been waiting for days to hear news that the stones have been installed. You mean... The stones need to be inserted into the lightning monoliths. Oh, you have been paying attention. Yes, exactly. About the monoliths. How many monolith stones do we need? Three stones for three lightning monoliths. We've got two of them here on the island. Our old friend Difuego got one of them from us. A gnome named Kasim, but the little chap should have been back ages ago. I think I can help you with the lightning monoliths. Really? How? It can't be that hard to stick some stones in some monoliths. That's true in theory, but the problem is, even if we have all the stones... What then? The monoliths are very far away, and they're surrounded by wild animals. Make sure you're well equipped if you head out there. Thanks for the advice. You trusted a gnome with something as important as that? Hmm. Why not? They work alongside with us. All right. Once again, for the deaf. Have you placed several shiny stones into the hands of a gnome? Um... Yes? And now you expect him to willingly deliver them? Yes. I think you should leave matters to someone else. But how? How are we supposed to find Kasim again? Right. I'll take care of your gnome. That would be a great help. But don't forget, Kasim is his name. What was a mage doing with someone like Governor Di Fuego? We were once... how should I put it? Let's just say we were business partners. It was a long time ago, you must understand. What happened? Well, he supported our research. And in return, we supplied him all the crystals and minerals that we couldn't use from the mines around Caldera. It went well for quite some time, until the day that all the mages were banned from Caldera. We had just enough time to save our skins. In the end, we were able to save two monolith stones from the chaos. The third one remained on Caldera. I think the Inquisition soldiers gave it to De Fuego. I st Have you got any work for me? I assume you're not offering to restructure our filing system, are you? Um... No. Good. Gnomes could do it better than you anyway. But there's one thing you could do for me. The intensive study of magic often makes me hungry. And my palate demands delicacies from across the southern seas. If you find any specialities on your journeys, I'd be prepared to buy them from you. And... Would you like something special on your plate? What kind of question is that? A gourmet like me always eats the most exquisite food. An exquisite cheese, a delicious ham, or some dainty mussels. That is how I prefer to dine. Top it off with an aromatic wine. 
Any idea where I might find your specialities? I heard that the demon hunters on Kalidor serve a delicious ham. I also know of a pirate who's a master of brewing. I believe his name is Bruce. As for the mussels, you'd best look on Antigua. And the cheese. Well, Zacharias, head of our order, had a unique one delivered recently. I'll see what I... Excellent. But don't even think of serving me something common. I don't want... Let's see A tasty ham. An aromatic wine. Some dainty mussels. Hmm... I think something's still missing. Come back as soon as you've got everything. I don't want to be kept waiting. Huh? Oh! You not magic man! Busy see right away! Impressive. You're clever. Yep! Busy bring delivery dinghy! Not always right sorted, but with time I get better! Without help or of Gunu, big chaos! Do the mages treat you well? If busy sped at help or magic men smile I understand. The mages are happy with you if you work hard. Yep, yep. That's why work lots, no blah blah. Master Lumbrock always say speech is silver, violence is gold. It's speech is silver, silence is gold. Homie sure? Very sure. It belonged to the leader of the expedition that discovered the Fountain of Youth. But he died before he could imbibe the deadly water himself. The vial is said to be buried on Takarigua. I see. Stop. Stop. Without good reason, no. I'll be back. That's what they all say, but there's no barging in here. What is it? Is there a problem? No. Why should there be a problem? Because everyone who talks to me comes with a sack full of problems. And I solve problems. Those who control magic have nothing to fear. You seem confident. You bet. Just look what the mages have done here on Tyrannus. We don't care if the gods have abandoned the world. We don't need them anymore. The more crystals our minds produce, the greater our power. How many crystals have you got with you? Me? Oh, it's not worth mentioning. A handful, and that's it. This stuff is needed elsewhere more urgently. Then you certainly won't mind handing over a few. Hmm. But not all of them. Here. Tell me something about the crystals and the mines. I've no idea why the crystals are so powerful. But I do know they burn a nice hole in our enemies. 
And that's precisely why it's so important to mind them. Right. What else do you do, apart from making speeches? Ha! Huh. Impressed, aren't you? Well, I'm waiting for the next order from Magnus. As long as he issues them, I'll be ready in advance. He was well prepared will succeed in this camp. And that will be me. Huh? Sure thing. But don't compete against... I'll enter into a knife duel with you just as soon as you... But remember, I don't have time for these games when I'm not by the wheel.